Hello everyone, welcome to another timeless zodiac sign reading. So, continuing the series, I have done two such series before and this is the third one. I would like you to subscribe, comment and share these videos and please, 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 please do write your comments. It helps me to understand uh, how much you relate to the reading and how useful it is for you. And if you want to have a personal reading with me, visit my website astralluck.com. The link is given below and all the PayPal links for the donation and Amazon wish list is given below. If you need to contribute to any of those uh, initiatives, just feel free to uh, follow the links. Thank you so much and let's start the reading. Hello everyone, welcome to another Timeless Zodiac Sign Reading. This is for Aquarius. I've picked the cards from multiple set of cards. I have not seen them. And I'll pick one from the pile, top from the pile and show it to you. And channel the message and continue till we finish all the cards. I don't know how many cards I have, but they are a lot. The first card is Seven of Swords. Either you are trying to play games with someone else or somebody else is trying to play a game with you. Where is it leading? Okay, somebody else is trying to play a game with you and you are defending yourself. And you are quite aware of uh, who is playing with you and how they are trying to attack you. You are quite aware of it. That's why you are well prepared to defend yourself. I don't see that uh, they are going to harm you because you are quite prepared and you already knew about it. And then we have the Empress, which is that you successfully defend yourself. You successful, successfully send this uh, person who is attacking you away and create a very harmonious situation for you. So I don't see a problem around you right now. There's nothing that you should worry about. Wow. Definitely don't worry about anything. We have Goddess Lakshmi, the Goddess of Prosperity coming on your side to help you, to support you when people are against you. Then we have Sixth Chakra. The reason why you will survive this attack is because you have seen it beforehand. You see the larger picture. You see how you are placed on the canvas and how you uh, might not be liked by other people in that canvas and how people can try to remove you from your space and that's why you have created boundaries and you have already uh, reinforced those boundaries in a very right way at the right time at the right place and now those boundaries are protecting you. Then we have Blossom and Abundance and Man Holding a Heart. It could be a woman, it could be a man, depending on what you want. So it's saying that uh, you know the larger picture, now positivity is coming on your side and which is because of your positive uh, environment right now, uh, you are attracting people who admire you, who love you, who want to care for you and they definitely have some kind of nice feelings for you. Whether you want to take them in your life, whether you want to leave them, it's your decision but you are attracting a lot of positive energy and people around you. Adjustments are required because you have just come out of a uh, a very negative space to a positive space so you yourself have to align yourself you somehow uh, feel that negativity is rubbing over your shoulder right now so uh, sometimes if people come with a lot of positivity you tend to see them as your enemies or they you try to see what kind of hidden agenda this person might have you need to have a mentor right now in your life who can help you to let go of this past negative experience 
and help you to utilize this positivity in your life right now. So you are very much uh, in need of a spiritual path or a spiritual guru or a spiritual mentor who can help you to bring balance back to your life. Sometimes you are, if you are fighting a negative energy for a very long time, then you continue to be in that fighting mode even when the energy is destroyed and now it's replaced by positive energy because you are so used to fighting you start fighting that positive energy also which is self detrimental and that's where you need to break the traditions follow new paths and follow a spiritual path because spiritual paths are very different they don't come with the baggage of tradition and definitely a true mentor will help you to find that new path a new tradition for you which is unique for you which is good for you then we have sudden wealth and house so maybe suddenly your house where you live will have an increase in its valuation or something like that a apart from that i see that there are a lot of opportunities coming for you because this uh, goddess lakshmi card is also talking about wealth then we have the wealth card itself sudden wealth and then we have blossom and abundance so a lot of success coming on your way but you don't know what to do with the success you don't know how to handle it right now that's what i see here and you certainly need some kind of spiritual energy spiritual grounding here then we have allowing weak and we have soul so the weakest link here is that you are not prepared to handle your own success so you need to allow your soul to take over right now the spiritual path to take over right now for you to handle the success uh, don't give yourself too much credit for getting the success rather than give more credit to the universe it, itself for finding helping you to find the success and be very humble about it and then try to find a spiritual path maybe a mentor if you are not comfortable to find a mentor then just keep following a spiritual path of your desire and you will find your success more quickly and it will last with you for a longer period of time then we have mother mary which says that the blessed mother is helping you with your divine life purpose i see that these two cards are same form in my eye if you are very religious i'm sorry i don't want to offend you but for me goddess lakshmi and mother mary are very similar energies positivity and helping you to manifest what you want in your life so that's your reading thank you so much i hope it resonated with you please give me your feedback and if you want to have a personal reading with me visit my website astrolux.com thank you bye bye